Okay, back at Rem Pep Bath and Beauty's kitchen with me, your hostess with the mostess, because you know I am, right? Oh, come on. I'm the guestess with the mostest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the guestess with the bestest. Yes. <laughs> okay, today is a remake for you guys and for us. I make a uh, remaking Dark Horse. Now, for those of you who watched it, you remember this is the one that when I cut it, the piping fell off. And when I went to repair it with melt and pour, my name still fell off. So we went ahead and we sold it anyway. It sold really good. As a matter of fact, I bought one myself. It is without the piping. We took the yes, piping we off. took the piping off. Um, I still have a bar of it in my uh, shower. Yeah, I didn't think of the word. <laughs> but this this uh, fragrance is called uh, Queen of the Nile. And of course, you know, Rum Pet Bath and Beauty, we're all about Egyptian history. So we're going to use those bright, bold Egyptian colors. Where's the light of water? Oh, it's right behind me. What do you know? So our light water is a 50-50 mix of aloe vera juice and distilled water, sodium hydroxide, salt and sugar, and the oils are so dark because there is bentonite clay in it. I also want to warn you guys, we're a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> this is our second soap that we've made so far tonight. Yeah, you guys got to see, more. yeah, you guys got to see us too. Grooves in the heart last week and we were, we were a big fat mess last week. Alrighty, let's get this to multiplication. Great. I got bubbles in it. But it is emulsified. So the three accent colors are crimson. Can you see them? Crimson, Gold Coast Holiday, and Amethyst Purple. And our base is going to be Lapis Blue. And I want this to be pretty pigmented. You know, in ancient Egypt, they had all those beautiful bold colors. I know I just mentioned that, like, 10 seconds ago, right? You'll also hear it 10 more times. <laughs> Shush! Shush from the peanut gallery. Okay. Let's get this blue in here. Yes, yeah, stand in front of the fan, please, my love. <laughs> it's, like, cool outside, so we ended up turning off our air conditioner, and I really think that was a bad idea. Because now it's really freaking hot in She's my house. She's also that person that, like, Keeps it at like 84. No, it's on 76. Okay, that's still the same thing. My house is at 62. Yeah, well, that's too freaking cold for me. Okay. That's like winter weather, bro. <laughs> so I keep my heat on. Okay. That's not pigment. That is not pigmented enough. Sorry, reaching over you. Not pigmented enough. And I know I didn't add activated charcoal to this, at least not to my memory. Of course, you know me. I always look at my batch book. Not. Oh, that's better. Okay, we'll go with that. You can start stirring those if you want to, sweetheart. Oh, you know what? Let me give you fragrance. This fragrance is beautiful to work with. It does not speed up trace. It does not... Rice. Rice. It is. It's awesome to work with. And smells so good. I'll leave the fragrance notes as usual. You guys, we're going to go over her real quick. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. I know you see it. <laughs> uh oh. I just got a drop of blue in the gold. Simon did it, not me. It's all Simon's fault. I told you guys she was a disaster. It's all Simon's fault. I'm going to need a hanger. Ooh, it's gold. Yep. Love the Gold Coast Holiday. That's my favorite gold. Wholesale Supplies Plus has some of the most beautiful golds. I have like a sparkle light gold and a sparkle dark gold and it's abs they're absolutely gorgeous one of these days you guys will take you and we'll show you all of the 
molds and scents and colors he has. <laughs> Cause, uh, no, because they're going to think I'm a hoarder. Well, she's a fragrance hoarder. I am and a I'm a mold hoarder. hoarder. Yeah. And I see them, I'm like, oh my gosh, we could do so much with this. And then we've never used them. Right. Exactly. That's how it works. Okay. So, put my blue in there. Oh, definitely going to need a hanger. This wasn't too hot. So maybe it does speed up trace, y'all. I don't remember it. See, this isn't sped up, though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put most of it in here just for the sole fact that, well, <laughs> It's speeding up trays. Yeah, and even with the gold it did. You guys are so excited. I don't get to make stuff very often. No. Nope. Because I live so far away. And nope. I work a lot. Yes, you do. You work too much. She's not Because when you're not working at work, you're working for us. And... Yeah. And I take days Amanda, off of work in case, to do this. Amanda, in case you're new, because we have a lot of new people here, Amanda is one of my business partners. She is my niece. And, and I call the marketing. Yes, she is our marketing and advertising VP, and she's very good at it. You know what? I think I'm going to put the rest of it in it before I swirl it. Sometimes too good, where she's like, I need you to slow down, because we <laughs> now have... 13 shows to do before September, and I know this is going to come out late for you guys because we've been making so much soap, but it's actually July 21st, so that's only like a m month and a week away. Yeah. I mean, we have 13 shows. <laughs> well, and it also, um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to film many Christmas and fall soaps for, the, for them. That was rude, you guys. I shouldn't even warn you. Oh, no, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> I just bang the soap. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start on this side. Go straight across, and then I'm going to come up, 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 and over, over, over. And we're going to come out, and then I'm going to bang the crap out of it again. Okay, you just dipped it back in there. You didn't even bake it in the middle. <laughs> That's why we alcohol our counters, bro. All right. One more time. Well, I don't want any air holes in it. You're an animal. <laughs> Did you say I'm an air hole or an animal? <laughs> an air hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Falling. A little bit of both, actually. <laughs> well, at least I didn't say I was a a hole. <laughs> Technically, I did. <laughs> oh, my In goodness. In case she edits this out. I'm um, not <laughs> That's all right. You're. She uh, said she needed to bang out all the air holes because she kept banging the tray on the counter, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Because there was glass on the counter, and then this is inside of a wood block and the silicone, so it's like multiple sounds hitting the counter. Yeah. And she's like, "Well, I don't want any air holes." I'm like, "You're an air hole." Well, trust me, they have heard language on our channel before because I have dropped an S bomb, and your cousin was helping me show them how to make homemade silicone molds. Oh, Mason. Yes. And he doesn't know how to wash his mouth. No. Normally, when we don't wash and our I couldn't, mouths, and we I can could, edit it out. I couldn't edit him out. It was terrible. Although, a few people thought it was funny. <laughs> you know, that's not the kind of channel I run here. But there's always that one person that doesn't find it funny. Yeah. And we don't want, we don't want to lose you guys. Right. We like all kinds of people. That's right. We actually are a really diverse community. We, really we have people from all different countries. And age groups. Yep. That is true. I think it's funny that Kiki watches our videos every week. Right. And she's helped me make soap. I guess she's even shown her friends. Look, I made this with my Mimi. Okay. And then our gold. And I'm still going to drop some gold mica on the top. Like after I... Because we're fancy, you guys. Yeah. Fancy. We like glittery things. Yeah, because this doesn't get glitter. Sorry, Amanda. Pink Houses does, though, which is the one you'll see next week with me and Amanda. Yeah, sorry, you guys are stuck with me. For three weeks, yeah, you're stuck with Amanda. That's all right. Who knows? I'll be back, and we'll be in more. Yeah. You'll see me more now than... You should come and me. help me make shower steamers. When are we doing that? I don't know. <laughs> 
I come here straight from work. So <laughs> soon. Okay, I gotta bang. Wait, wait, go, wait. Go ahead. I gotta bang it. Oh my god, even the glass not being on the counter doesn't help with the Sorry, <laughs> honey. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I just gotta make sure. I've, okay. I've got a little bit going on with my brain, so. Oh, well, do you have we a headache? Do? I don't have a headache right now, but. Not current. Trust me, I wouldn't. I did, had I known you had a headache, I wouldn't have banged it that no, hard. No, I would have done okay. it on the floor rather than on the counter. You're okay. But I work 40 minutes away and I live uh, 70 minutes away. <laughs> that spoon doesn't even fit in there. So we, um, I come over after work and we make soap. But you never know what the day consists of because I don't get off until 6 p.m. Right. And it's already 9.30 p.m., well, so... Well, and I may, you know, like, the last time you came over and we were going to make these three soaps, I had had four seizures in two days, and yeah, that wasn't, it wasn't good. Yeah, it was fun. So right. I sat here and did everything for our business on the website. Okay, you ready? Do you want to go back and forth, or should I do an infinity swirl, which is... I think an infinity swirl. I think we had an infinity. See, now I'm going to have to bang it down again. You see the it's okay. the marks it's making in there? Okay, cover your ears. <laughs> okay. I think she just bangs it so much because she finds it enjoyable. Oh, shh. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Disaster, you guys. A literal disaster. Her, not the same. Yeah, me, not the soap. <laughs> I think I just got soap all on the bottom of our mold, too. All right, guys, so, yeah, this is dark. Oh, you know what? I didn't even bring them in. Oh, my goodness. This is Dark Horse, and six days from now, you'll see me unmold it. I got to fix some of these little air holes. Some of those air holes came to the top, and I got to pop them. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, guys, we're going to cut Dark Horse. I had to take my potato peeler to it. Going to have to do that with the soap we made ne uh, next week, too. <laughs> oh, got to take a piece off. Duh. Having issues. Yeah, this came out of the freezer uh, this morning, so it's still mm -hmm. a little bit frozen. Oh, I can put this on this other tray. Sorry, I'm reaching. For a tray that's a little bit further away. I know I've said that the last couple of times. I just had so much soap to cut. I had to get to it. Okay. Here we go. First bar. That. And that. Oh, wow. I like it. I like it. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty soft because, like I said, I put my soap in the freezer to to unmold it. I've, I've done that um, for a long time, and I don't even remember where I heard it from because I was losing corners. And huh. I know last, last year when I made Margaritaville, I didn't put that in the freezer because I was just so excited to see what it was going to look like inside. So I popped it. I popped it out of the mold and I lost corners. And, you know, my, my recipes are hard. I use a water discount, you know. It's not, you know, I... I I don't know, but it just reminded me that, yeah, I need to do it every time. I think my molds are just really, really old. It's like, I don't know, the silicone doesn't have the same kind of release as it did. I, does that make sense? Does anybody have any molds that do that? I'm still waiting for my husband. See, these whole seven loaves, I could have done like, bam, boom, done. But uh, I'm still waiting for my husband to... Uh, string my Amadeus and I know that you're seeing this many months after you saw me uh, saw the cutter because I've just been you know cranking out soap but he still he just needs to string them <laughs> or string it so I can just get these you know when I have seven bars to cut it's not going to take me an hour it's going to take me 15 minutes you know Maybe even less. I don't know. I've never actually used a multi-bar cutter. 
so at least the spacing looks correct. <laughs> My husband's pretty good. He's he's a, a handy guy, so I'm sure it's good. Oh, that's a little bit big bar. I really like I like the way that this one turned out better than the other one. You know, because like I said when we were making it, this is the one I piped on, and all the piping was falling off while I was cutting it. And we did sell it um, without the piping. And it sold really well. This fragrance is fantastic. And really good to work with. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I have a bar, in this, bar of this in my shower right now. Mm -hmm. There we go. How many do I have? Two, four, six, eight. So this is nine. Oh, I am going to get an empty. What do you know? What do you know? It's going to be a little one, but it's going to be one. There we go. Ugh. Come on, top. But see, it's sticking to my wire. That's terrible. All right, so let's turn this bad boy around. There we go. I like it. I really do. Well, I got a little air hole, see? Because I was pounding the crap out of it. I have some little air holes. Oh, those are easy to those are easy to touch up. Alright. Well, I thought I just heard somebody downstairs. Apparently not. Alright guys, I will see you uh, next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.